15th of August 1944, the whole of Warsaw lies in flames. The city is being blown up and burnt to death. The fine palatial streets lie in rubble. Anyone daring to venture outside during the day will be shot on the spot by a sniper or killed by artillery fire. As a result, supplies start to run low. The soldiers and civilians will eat literally anything they can get their hands on. The pigeons, the cats, the dogs, they all start to disappear. The most common meal at this time was not so affectionately known as spit soup. There's food aplenty in the city's allotments, but to go out there means certain death. A young 13-year-old boy, Jan Galinovsky, is forced to watch as his favourite cat starves to death in front of him. So if you were a civilian in the Rising, what would you do? You hadn't picked this fight, but it had been forced on you. Would you stay or would you try and get out? Which decision would be the best one for you and your family? What's so incredible about the Rising is the sheer number of civilians who decided to stay and who decided to help. Now, perhaps because of the genocide of civilians throughout the city, they really had no choice. But the level of organisation and discipline was still high. Every district had its own mayor. Every housing block had its own self-help committee. The civilians were the ones who were keeping this rising going. They built barricades. They staffed hospitals. They shared their food. And without them, the rising wouldn't have been able to carry on. But how long would you be able to carry on that fight? By the 15th of August, the civilians in Warsaw had been forced to watch as their homes were destroyed, their neighbours murdered, as they lost contact with their friends and relatives. And the question was, how long could they put up with that? The simple fact is that the Warsaw Uprising and the misery for civilians would carry on for many days to come. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where every day we tell the story of the Warsaw Uprising. Don't forget to tune in for tomorrow's episode at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Share your view in the comments section below and share this film with someone who you think might appreciate it.